software when we click, click, click. Wanna learn. Hello, my name is Gregorio Rojas. I am one of the co-founders and head instructor at Savio, a developer bootcamp based out of Los Angeles and Irvine, California. This is video two of a short series of videos discussing imposter syndrome and how to inoculate yourself uh, against it. And how do you inoculate yourself against imposter syndrome? You do so with questions, asking questions at, at the time, at the point in time where it might be most difficult um and seem uh, scariest uh, to you ask questions so here uh, i'm going to give you a story uh that um is about one of our fellows who went out into the job market and engaged in the interview process if you've never been through the interview process of becoming a software developer of getting a new job as a software developer i can tell you that the interview process can be quite challenging uh because it's very technical uh, and people expect you to perform at a very high level uh, in these scenarios. And so one of our, our women developers went out and you know secured an interview at a company here in Los Angeles. And they found themselves sitting across the table from a hiring manager, a technical hiring manager that was asking them, you know, again, very challenging questions. Um, and one of the things, you know, a lot of commentary coming from this individual uh, in response to her questions. And it evolved from a, you know, your regular standard challenging uh, technical interview into um, what I will describe is that she started getting beat up and tongue lashed by this individual. Why does someone do that? How, why does someone conduct themselves in that way in an interview process is something I will never know. Um, you know, you don't need to uh, take an opportunity where uh, someone is being, you know, judged, right? And this is one of the reasons why imposter syndrome is going to really surfaced itself often in the interview process because you very clearly are being judged. Are you good enough for this job? Uh, there's no need to turn that into, uh, you know, basically some type of torture uh, and beating up the other person on the other side of the table, but it happens. And so what was happening uh, to this developer um, is that, you know, she just kept getting beat up about how dare you walk in here without, um, a computer science degree you have no business being here you don't have a computer science degree you don't have a background in software development why would you come into this room you should in fact i remember she told me she the, the guy told her the interviewer told her that she should stop her job hunt uh, and she should go get a proper education in computer science before she continued because it didn't make sense for her to do so and so this was really tough to hear. Um, I was really uh, hurt by it. I was hurt for her. I was upset. I was angry. And, you know, this is me being removed from the whole situation. I was very emotional about the whole thing. And you, you can imagine how, how strongly she felt about what had happened to her. And in the moment, somehow, I don't know where she gets the, the strength, really, and the wherewithal to ask a really important question. She asked uh, this individual, okay, look, well, where did you get your computer science degree from, right? And that's a natural, I think that would be a natural question. But in the moment, like, I don't know if I could have asked that question myself. You know, you're getting beat up and go and get a computer science degree. And you guys, this is what you should do. And she asked the question, well, where did you get your computer science degree from? You know, because maybe I want to go get it there. Because uh, you happen to think it's so important. Well, the answer was a little shocking. Uh, actually, it's shocking, uh, but not surprising. He didn't have his computer science degree, right? And so when you hear that, uh, what I felt was that, you know what? You have no legs to stand on, buddy. Like, how dare you, uh, you know, chastise uh, this individual for not having a computer science degree and mandate that they go and get a computer science degree when you yourself don't have one, right? And so empowering yourself with that knowledge that that, that person, she, they got no legs to stand on. They, they, they're they speaking from no position of authority, uh, at all, right? Because they themselves don't have a computer science degree, and they, yet they are uh, there, a technical person, uh, a technical hiring manager, uh, putting these restrictions uh, upon someone else, right? That don't make sense. So uh, the end of the story, though, has a really good uh, ending. Uh, the interview ended naturally, and you went. You know, they're not going to give them a call back. This is like insane. I'm not going to go to work there, and you clearly don't want me there. Uh, anyway, but two weeks later, a number of weeks later, um, she was still looking for work. In fact, she was uh, about to accept an offer or had had an offer come in already uh, for another place when the recruiter called her back and said, hey, look, that guy, 
Uh, he actually wants to extend an offer to you. He wants to hire you because it, it turns out that after weeks and weeks of, of more uh, search, uh, of interviewing more people, like they couldn't find anyone better than her. And so I can't imagine the guy having to come back to her and, and say that to her. They say, like, look, I'm going to give you an offer. Uh, naturally, she did not take it. She took a better offer uh, than what was offered by this individual. Obviously, not a good place to go work for. That guy already showed his colors. Uh, but that guy had to come back and, and give her a job offer, right? And so, uh, you know, putting yourself out there to go interview, putting yourself out there to somehow ask that tough question in the middle of that process, you learn a lot, right? And you learn a lot that allows you to uh, move forward in your career, knowing that, you know what, you can definitely, you definitely belong in the room. Uh, and the people that are sometimes judging you, they have no place to judge you. You got to look and, you know, it's like they say, you're the best, you're the person that's going to make yourself um, feel good. Uh, you're the person uh, that is going to be in charge of how you feel. Uh, so do that. Uh, take uh, take control and take responsibility for that by asking these tough questions. Okay. Next video, another story.